Big up all my beautiful people. Big up all my TA winners. This is myself, Aaron BZ Burns, back again with another one. I'm really excited right now. I've got to say, from since I started doing these videos and taking it a little bit more seriously, the amount of uh, interest I've had on the Tier Alpha 360 project has been amazing, all right? And we've done so much great work with people. So I just want to thank everybody that's uh, paid attention, that's got in touch, and everyone that I've spoken to, and all the people that I'm mentoring one-on-one -on -one are doing superb. And I really, really, really want to get loads more people on board. So I just want to send everybody to the tieralpha360.com website. Check it out. Book a free empowerment call. And let's see where it goes, all right? Now, let's get into the video. Lockdown is over, essentially. And the sun's coming out. He's got his hat on. And it's shining for all of us. And what this says to me is a lot more people are going to want to start doing approaches. Women are going to be looking beautiful. Guys are going to be looking at them. Guys are going to be looking good too. And they want to mix. They want to mingle. And a lot of people have that wall. They're not sure how to go about it. So this video is going to help you get your mind right so you can have more success. Stay tuned. Now, I just want everyone to know, if you see a beautiful woman and you want to approach her, you have to do it ASAP. You shouldn't be thinking about it. You don't want to get analysis paralysis. The longer you take, the more your mind is going to convince itself that you don't want to do it, that you don't need to do it, uh, that you don't care about the situation, you don't like her that much, she might not be your type, all of that. The truth is, your mind is trying to protect you from pain. You see, what your brain does, it likes to put you in situations where you're safer, you're not likely to be hurt, whether that be physically, mentally, verbally, any way, shape or form. Your brain wants to protect you. Your mind wants to steer you in a direction of pleasure and away from pain. Rejection to your mind equals pain. It doesn't want that for you. So if you see a beautiful woman that you're attracted to and you want to go and approach her, right? First of all, that's pleasurable. But then all the other stuff starts sinking into your mind. All the stuff about, oh, what if she doesn't like me? What if I say something stupid? What if I don't look the part right now? What if she embarrasses me and everyone sees Oh, are there people looking at me walk all the way from where I am now to where she is? Am I going to be embarrassed? All of that stuff, right? But the truth is, that's not important. The truth is, you've got to get away from being a passenger in your own life. The truth is, the girl, and you know, approaching her and getting the number or taking her home or whatever you want to do with her, that's much, much less important than you actually being an action taker in your life and saying to hell with it. I'm going to go and take this chance. I'm going to go and achieve this. And the achievement is actually you taking action and going over there. What you have to understand is this is way bigger than just approaching women and stuff like that. And this rule actually applies to women as well. It's just that women don't generally uh, approach men as much as men approach women. But it works for both sexes. But not only that, it also works in other environments. It could work if you're someone that's in the entertainment industries and you see someone that you want to give uh, your Instagram or some of your music to or whatever it may be, all right? It may work for a situation where you see a job opportunity that you really want to take, but you don't have the confidence. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And I know that's a phrase that gets thrown around, but it's 100% true, all right? And you need to get out of your own head. You need to get out of your own way. Because you have to understand the effect that the sort of mindset that stops you from going after what you want kind of has on the rest of your life. Because trust me, right? As a guy, every time you see a lady that you wanted to speak to but you didn't, every time you see a job opportunity that you wanted to go for but you didn't go for it, what happens there is you're going to go home, you're going to feel bad about yourself, all right? You're going to try to forget it, but this eats away at you. You know, and some people fall into deep, deep depression. At very least, you fall into sadness. Why would you want to be sad, all right? If you go for something you want, you give it your all, you try your hardest, all right? And win, lose, or draw, at least you tried. At least you could be proud that you tried. And do you know what? Sometimes you win. 
And even if you don't win, you learn. You can learn from what happened that time. The reality is maybe that will teach you that that person that you went for, that type of person isn't for you, right? And you learn what is for you. The more chances you take, the more obstacles you overcome, the more you learn about yourself, the more you learn what works for you, the more you learn what you should be going for. One thing that I always tell guys um, on my courses is if you see someone that you want to approach, don't overthink it. Just start walking towards them. Physically, start walking towards them before your mind gets the chance. Now, even as you're walking towards them, your mind might be saying, no, she's not going to like me. Oh, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? It doesn't matter. You've already started. And why this is good is because <clears throat> the reality of the situation is she may have already seen you, all right? And she may have already noticed you. So if she can tell that you're walking towards her, she's going, all right, if this guy approaches me, he's done it in a confident way. If you stand around, you keep looking at her and she's, she's walking away, you're kind of trailing behind her because you don't want to lose sight of her because you know that you want to approach her but you're scared to do it immediately. Do you know how odd that looks sometimes to a woman? I've had beautiful women tell me this. They hate it when guys trail behind them. They hate it when guys follow them. I mean, essentially, you could be doing anything to her. She doesn't know what your plan is for her. She doesn't know if you've got good intentions, you know? And even if um, she's not afraid, it's just not a very confident thing to do, but trailing behind somebody. How does that make her feel about you? And I'm not even saying that every man has to be an alpha, but God damn it, that is not an alpha thing to do. It's not even close. That is a very, very beta thing to do. And as we know, for the most part, women are not instinctively attracted to beta males. That is the action of a beta male. And I don't even really like throwing that phrase around, but it's just true. If she notices that you're trailing behind her, even if you finally do pluck up the courage to approach her, your chances of sealing the deal, getting the result that you may have wanted, you know, her being nice to you, her actually stopping and talking to you, her giving you her number, her going home with you, her going on dates with you, all of that stuff, it significantly will be reduced just because of those key moments before approaching her. Now, I just want to reiterate the importance of taking action. You see, what you have to understand is being passive and not being an action taker, it will affect everything else in your life. I said it already. You're not going to get the opportunities that you want because you're not taking the opportunity. You're not going to get the women you want because you're not going up to them and approaching them. No one's going to slap you around the face with opportunities. No one's going to hand you things. It doesn't work like that for men, for the most part, unless you're really, really lucky. And most people, sorry to say, are not really, really lucky. Take the opportunity. Get that lady of your dreams. Get that career of your dreams. That will lead to the lifestyle of your dreams. And as we all know, you only live once. You only get one shot at this. And you're not going to be young and handsome forever. <laughs> Do it while you are. You see, the more you understand this, the more you realize it's not even about you going and getting that girl's number. It's not even about you going on a date with that woman. It's more about the action you took beforehand, you being an action taker. That's the truth. And so win, lose or draw, whether it ends well with her or not, it doesn't matter. You took the action. And that will propel you to success in all other areas of your life. And ironically, once you realize that, the success that you have with women will skyrocket because you don't care as much. The indifference of the result is the mindset that leads to the success. It's beautiful. With all that said, I'm very, very happy to once again let you know that if you want to change your life, if you're serious about having the most success of your life and being the best version of yourself, check out www.tiralpha360.com. Read the content on the website. It will blow your mind. But even more so, book in a free empowerment call. That call will definitely blow your mind. And we'll take it from there. Also, add me on Instagram. That is... Aaron Beasy, I do a Wednesday 
call show. It's an Instagram live every Wednesday. Check that out. That's on my Instagram, obviously. Um, I really still want more, more people on my Instagram so that I can kind of like keep in touch with you so you can see what I'm doing on a day-to-day and just kind of give you the information that's on my mind as I get it in my mind, all right? There's really cool content on there. And I just want to kind of engage more with you guys, all right? Anyway, I've been Arrow Beasy Birds. I've enjoyed doing this video. I hope you find some value in it. If you find that this has benefited you or if you think it will help somebody else, please share it. Please like it and please subscribe. Also, please click that notification bell so that you can be notified when I do a new video. Peace and love, love and light. Blessings, gang.